Hey, what's up guys? Just pulled up at the spot. Got ready to do another mushroom video. Here with the, the usual suspects. Yo, what up? It's Coop Dog. Coop what's dog. up YouTubers and interwebbers? Got Dom How's back there. Uh, I think we're gonna find some morels today. I've been seeing a lot of them in our foraging groups here in Colorado. Um, we're at about 9,000 feet elevation once we get up to our spot. Um, seems like we're about the right place to find them, right time of year, so. We've got, a, we've got about, about I'd say about a two mile hike ahead of us before we get up to the top of the mountain, but it's been raining and the ground's real wet, so I think I think we're gonna do good. This is gonna be a good year. Good definitely year. gonna be a good time, definitely gonna get wet today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Cooper stumbled upon the first morels. It's a couple like little sprouters right here. We've got two, two more. And then, where'd you say there were some more at? Yeah, right over oh, here. Man. Oh, there's there's like two a, right here. Yeah, there's two right there. Two little, two little baby ones. There's some over by Cooper's left. And right there's there. a little baby one popping right there. They're just all over. There's another one popping right here. We're gonna find some big ones. Right and then we're there's we're gonna mark these. Another one right here. Harvest them in a couple days. Yeah, they're they're kind of small, so we're just gonna mark them and come back in a few days, and I'm sure they'll be nice and plump. Yeah, man, good find. Hey, thanks, man. Morel season is officially on. Looks like Don finally found his first morel. Yeah, buddy. yeah let's check it out. It's starting to black. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yes. That's a good size. I think that one's pickable. All right. Long time oh, yeah. coming. So what's the trick I must have walked right under that. Base? You didn't need a knife. Yeah, just get close to the base as possible and just slice it off. Yeah, that's a nice size. That's mature too. Yeah, go ahead and cut that dirt off. Nice. Yeah, I guess I think we're gonna find some. There you go. I think we're gonna find some pickers today. Your first morel. First morel. Need some apple cool. sized mm. <laughs> All right. right this is a long time coming. So there's, there's got to be more then. Hell yeah. Yeah, once you find one, you just want to like kind of do a sweep of the immediate area. I almost stepped on. I, I passed right over that. I didn't see that because so I came I came this way and I must have stepped right over it. All right, I found found a few more. Right there, one, two, and a little further up. Three, four. Five. Five right there. Pretty good size too. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're finding them now. Alright, let's harvest these. Yeah, that's a good good size. And the bottoms are starting to turn tan, that means they're they're pretty mature. Usually when they're they're like like still like uh, fresh these will be like nice and white right. so, so these were ready to pick anyway this big one right here bigger one this is a good size one there's a little baby right here and then that little divot right there too and there was one over there's here little, somewhere little baby i think i got stepped one right no i'm probably stepping on one <laughs> right here right there oh, yeah. that one's all soggy that one's actually, oh, there's one right here. Yeah, I knew there was another one. There's one to the right. It's a good size. We've got the 
Look at how big they usually are when we find them up I mean, here. That, that Another nice little one. Yeah. Nice little freshie. There's another one. Right over there. It's decent. Dom found. Oh, I see another one over there. Where? Pretty good size. Oh, yeah. That's it. Get you harvest on that one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's about as big as the one I found. Nice, nice. Cool. Yeah, we're starting to find some... Oh no, that's not one. We're starting to find some decent sized ones now. They're all over, another little hidden... Yeah. Get it, another little... Perfect popper, sweet popper. Nope. I think it's like eight or nine days. Another nice little fresh one. Oh yeah. This is what I got in the sack so far. Doing all right. Over there. Maybe a little. Half a pound, maybe. Dom's found a few. Only got uh, those three. Yeah, at least enough for an omelet. I ain't complaining. All right, I found a nice little patch right here. Yeah, some nice fresh ones popping. There's two right there, three, four, five. Yeah, a good little patch. It's gotta be more. These are a good size right here. The one, two, Three, four, five. Yeah, just I found one. Yay. And Dom found one just now, too. Oh, that's a good size. That's probably the biggest one you found yet. Oh, damn. Took too much of the stem. <laughs> and then there's another one right there. And right here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Three right here in this little... See, I think because there's this tree right here has been hit... They're right under this tree that's been struck by lightning. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, that's pretty good size. Get on there's a little, third right oh, there. Oh, yeah, I see little it. cluster. It's a nice one. I'm gonna let that little baby grow. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> yeah, this is a little hot spot right here. I found like five, five, five yeah, just in this little good spot. Yeah. Everybody's found some over here. It's a nice size. There's a couple more right there. There's that chunky donkey. I'm about to find it. Still finding them. I think we I think we picked the right day. There's one shrub here. 
Yeah, the one thing they're small, but they're all fresh. They're all fresh and no bugs, no rot. Yeah, these are these are the perfect, really. I do like. This. Yeah. Found one. Did you? Oh, see, so just stepped right over that too. Could we find another one? Nice size one. Do you mind if I add to my bag, sir? Yeah, that's good size. They're all perfect size right here. Uh -huh. Cool. Mm. We're still finding them. See, right below this this tree that got struck by lightning. I actually found some here last year, or it was like the year before. I found like a couple of huge ones. And we just found a good little patch over here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And in here. Don found some over here. There's more right here. Another. Oh yeah, There's the chonky donkey right there so far. And then look, look at these right here. Chonky donkey. The Hold on, there's... there's a nice one. Ooh, good little patch right here. Nobody moved. <laughs> yeah, when you find them, you just find them like in these nice little patches. Look at that. Yeah, we hit it just right. Uh huh. I didn't think we would, but we did. I'm glad we didn't change spots. Found all these just right in this little circumference here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're finding a good amount. Good That's what I found. I probably had to have a good pound now. I think Don probably has about a what a pound. Yeah, probably. And Cooper probably has what? How much yeah, do you think he has? Quarter pound, half pound, maybe. I yeah. only got like. Four Ooh, here's a big one over here. Check that out. Oh, there's some more. Hold up. Check that out. That one's huge. Nice. Look at these. Oh, right behind me. Oops, sorry. There's a big one right there too. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, we're just finding them all. It just has a huge base. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, compare. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Every time we find them, they keep getting bigger. Two. Let me see. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Three, and then there's one right here. Yeah, there's, oh, there's one right here. A little tiny. Oh, there's one right here, too. Three. There's one right there, too, <laughs> in the moss. Yeah, I don't see you. that. All right, so the Coors Light can is a marker. Right oh, there's another one. <laughs> Oh yeah, that little one right there too. Little guy. Oh, there's a little cluster. Oh. It's a good size. Nice and fresh. And just got some friends around here probably. There's one. This is a pretty steep section too. Oh, look at this tree. Looks like it's been struck by lightning too. I found here's, here's one right there. Yeah, I see you. There's two right there. <laughs> and then here's a cluster right here. Found a nice little, another little patch. Again, by a by a by a, a lightning, lightning tree. tree. That holds. That, this tree. Rock solid. Oh my gosh! Look at this nice one. That's where we keep finding all the clusters. Oh, nice oh cool. Guy. Let me see what you guys got. Still 
I got oh, five geez, bro. Four. It's real all my size. There's Dom's more. still working over there. There's another. Yep. Yeah. This is my next one. Oh, my bad. It's all good. It's all you. It's going the same place, buddy. There's one right there. I see a baby one right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, I see two. Another nice little patch. Pretty big one right there. Yeah. Once again, it's right by a knockdown tree that got hit by lightning. Pretty big, pretty good size one right here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's pretty looking too. Yeah. Oh, the little patch. Oh, yeah? Nice. She probably have a couple, couple pounds in there. Big ones, too. Where are you yeah. happy with today so far? Where's Cooper at? Cooper is oh, he's right way up there. Coop's about to find the biggest catch of the day. I just know it. It's gonna be the stuff of legends. It's like picture perfect. Look at this fungal activity. You gotta put your mouth in the dirt. Found a little spring coming right out of the rock. It's pretty cool. Good to know if you ever trapped up here. Yeah, on my side of the mountain. You gotta live up here. Now we just gotta find some of them morals. Where's the morals at, boy? <laughs> you got the lucky shroom hat on. Yeah. I just noticed that. That's pretty cool. Nefco, I can't find the label, but <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that's a cool hat. And then I wore my slightly yeah. stupid mushroom shirt, too. You gotta bring out the spirits of the forest. That's what brought us. That's what brought Bags us. Bags of morels. <laughs> Yeah. Just well, sprinkle the spores all over this forest. Sure, we'll find a few more on our way out too. Dom found some uh, some witch's butter and some some wood ear. Yeah, that's that's definitely wood ear. And some uh, this bright witch's butter. Cooper says that's edible too. These are used a lot in Asian cuisine. It's pretty good. But yeah, that's definitely woodier. That's why this wood up, bro. Those are your ears. <laughs> Put on a necklace like Rambo. You're gonna have to tell me how that how that tastes. Well, I'm gonna hand it over to my resident yeah. Asian cuisine chef. These are nice pieces though. Looks pretty clean. They look like old, like ears. Cool. That's a nice. It looks like an MMA ear. ear. Yeah, yes. cauliflower <laughs> ear. Chuck Liddell's ear. Yeah, I'm like 99, 98% sure those are wood ears. Like we will wait for a positive ID before I'm eating, of course. But always do your research anytime you pick wild mushrooms. Yeah, before you eat it, for sure. Don't <laughs> be a fatal mistake. Don't just trust some dudes on YouTube. A little bit of advice. Even if they have.
be good as like a mushroom and Swiss deal? One Maybe. of burgers? Yeah, for sure. Let's saute them in butter and then put them on top of a burger with Swiss. That sounds good. Griddle that. Some sourdough. Sourdough, yo! All right, this is about what we found today. Pretty good haul. We estimate we found about maybe four pounds. Some of the, some of the wood here. But yeah, overall it was a good haul. I think, we, I think, think we did pretty good today. At first we didn't think we were gonna find any. Uh, we're like ready to pack up and go. But then we started hitting, Glad we stuck with it. hitting all those little patches. So yeah, it turned out to be a good day. I want to thank Coop Dog for coming, yes, Dom sir. for coming. Thanks for having us. Some spruce tips too. Some spruce tips. Make some tea or something with that. Right on. Thanks for watching and until next time. All right, got these morels all cleaned up and cut some of the bigger ones in half. But uh. Yeah, I'm getting ready to fry them up. Gonna make some breaded, uh, fried breaded morels. And I'm gonna fry it up, fry it up in some uh, peanut oil. And I'm gonna make a quick batter real quick. I'm gonna use this old coffee can to mix them around in. But yeah, I'm just gonna put like two cups of flour, about a couple of tablespoons of Lowry seasoned salt, about a tablespoon of onion powder and a couple tablespoons of black pepper. I'm gonna put it all in here, mix it up, and then drop them in some hot hot peanut oil. some uh, probably about a tablespoon of onion powder and I'm just eyeing all this I'm not being precise I'm just kind of going by looks then I'm just gonna close the lid mix that up real good shake it up so I'm just gonna drop these straight into the flour mixture maybe about a about that much at a time. Close the lid and shake them up. Just shake them up a bit. Get that, get the flour mixture all coated on there. And I'm just using the water. I didn't, I didn't. You really don't have to make like no egg wash like. So. Some people do. Water works good enough. Puts a nice coat on there. And after that, ready to drop in the hot oil. All right, this is them all coated up. Took them out of the coffee can. They all got a nice, nice coat of the flour mixture on them. And now I'm just gonna drop them in the hot, hot peanut oil. All right, I've been frying them for a couple minutes now. Just kind of turning them over here and there. But these are about done. Once they start getting that golden brown color, then and yeah, they're, they're ready. 
and you just want to put them on a plate uh, with like some paper towels or in this case I got some coffee filters just to help uh, drain the grease yeah they're starting to smell good too just gently get them out of the hot grease hot oil lay them evenly on a on a plate so they could drain yeah they're looking good these are ready to go I'm going to eat them with some uh, ranch dressing oh, they're excellent uh, yeah then I just got a couple more rounds of these to fry up and I'll be I'll be eating good. So yeah, they should look like that after you get done frying them up. Just a nice golden brown, nice crunchy texture. And let's keep going. All right, got them all fried up. Gonna dip them in some ranch dressing. And yeah, let's try them out. Came out great. Mm. Those are good. So yeah, that was pretty easy. So thanks for coming along with us on this adventure. And uh, I'm going to sit here and enjoy these and go watch some TV. And I'll catch you on the next one.